Now that we've created a row in the database, let's see if we can get that task back out again. We're gonna to want to get a single item from the database. Now, I remember that that was like an ID, I think we put in um, four, five, and six. Uh, in in um, uh, traditional sort of RESTful uh, APIs, uh, we can use that ID to grab a single one in the path parameter uh, for our, our server. Let's go ahead and set Thunder Client first for doing that. So we're gonna do a get request to localhost uh, port 3000 slash tas, and then we want the specific ID. So let's get that last one out, six. Now, of course, if I run this, we get a 404 not found. So we need to fix that really quickly too. So down in data, let's create a brand new route. This will be maybe get one task s and we'll add that in here so mod get one task i uh, will do a pub async function get one task i uh, will use that here so get one task get one task and add in a route for this this does need to go above the layer so route uh, I want this to be tas slash, and if we remember from how to use uh, path parameters, it's just gonna be a colon, uh, and we can just do like maybe something like task ID. And our service is gonna be a get, uh, get one task. Okay, so we can get the path parameter here. So we have path, uh, this is gonna be the task ID, you are a path. Um, and that's an I32, because we remember that the IDs are stored as I32s in the database. Uh, we also need the database connection itself. So we need the extension, uh, database, the type is extension, database connection. Okay. Um, Finally, we're gonna have the incoming data to, well, I mean, that's just gonna be the ID. Oh, we need to send something back. Now, I don't necessarily like sending the exact, like the full database model back. I like just sending only what I really want to. So I'm gonna create a, um, I'm gonna create a new JSON object that can be serialized that we're going to turn into the resulting task. So this is gonna be a hub struct response task response task, uh, let's derive uh, serialize. Um, okay, so for you, we're going to have an ID in this. Um, an ID is gonna be an I32, that is absolutely required. We're gonna have a title, uh, that is absolutely required too, so a string. Uh, we're gonna have a priority, um, that is an option string uh, we're gonna have a description that is an option string uh, we can send the other things but we know we don't really have them in here so we don't we don't really need this is all I really care about right now okay so uh, saving you let's now use this information to request our task okay so let let the task equals um, well, we need to grab access to the model uh, for that's under here in TAS. And looking at what we have in here, it's actually under mod. So we have pubmod TAS in TAS. We have this pubstruct model. So we need this thing here. Um, the problem is twofold. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we have just one real problem here, which is, it's named model. This is not named tasks, which makes it a little bit, a little bit hard for us to use. So we're going to use this. So use create database tasks model, uh, but I'm going to rename this as just tasks. Okay. So now I can use that tasks. Now we have a bunch of find methods that are available to us. 
but they don't really show up until I actually start using them, which is a little bit unfortunate. So we're going to do find by ID. Now, if I do a semicolon here, uh, you are a function named find by ID. Ooh, let's um, let's actually head over to our documentation really quickly and just double check here. So I'm at the uh, CQL, uh, CQL uh, org website. Um, in their docs, they have this basic CRUD section, and then you can do a select. So we actually want to see, okay, find by primary ID. Well, that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, so we have use, okay, the entity. Oh, it's entity, not model as. Okay, so we want uh, entity as tasks. Okay, so now I should be able to do tasks find by ID there. I want the ID in here. Um, okay, so this is going to be the task ID. Now, if I want to filter further by this, um, I could, but uh, we know that find by ID is just going to give us the first one. So that's what I'm going to do. The dot one to give me one thing. I want uh, to give it the connection to the database. Uh, that's going to give me, okay, a future. So I await that. That's going to give me a result. So let's just unwrap this for right now, uh, which then gives me an option model because what if it couldn't find it? What if we don't actually have an, uh, a, um, a task coming out of here because that, that ID doesn't exist? Um, okay, so what do we want to return fully then? We, will, we want to return an option with a JSON. So let's, um, let's do this. We're going to return a uh, JSON. Now, what do I want to do? If I, I probably want to like return this as a like an error message if I can't find one. And we can actually do that instead of returning JSON here. What if we do a um, impl, let's see, I think it's a response into response. Now we can use those tuple types that we we're using before to, uh, to respond with a custom error message. So let's, uh, let's do this. We'll do if let sum task equals task. Okay, so here we have the task. Uh, at this point, we couldn't find the task at all, which means that that um, uh, the URL is invalid. If the URL is invalid and that doesn't really exist, that's a 404 error. So we are going to return a tuple type. We're gonna use a status code uh, of not found. And uh, we could optionally put some kind of like error in here. Let's do a string of, um, uh, we couldn't find the task. And I'll just go ahead and two owns that. Uh, okay, so, oh, it wants um, status code, oh, it wants like that exact thing. I was really hoping that the into response would do that, but uh, let's do, um, let me see how I want to do this. If that's some tasks, I probably want to do an early return and then we'll return this separately. Let's change this around a little bit. So there, we're going to return this tuple type. Now we have to return out early if if we hit the um, if we hit this sum. Uh, okay. Oh, and a, a tuple just in case you're not familiar with it. Uh, tuple is a special data type in Rust. Uh, it's sort of kind of like an array. Um, it allows us to have two different things of completely different types in them, but it's not really an array. Um, so that's that's what we're working with here. Okay, if let's sum, we have access to our task. Uh, we can actually get stuff out of here and we should be able to create our response task. So. Uh, and if I want to return with actual just JSON, um, let's just return 
uh, I think it's going to be JSON. I want you to be um, the response task. So let's check some fields. Okay, so this is an RID. Okay, so that's going to be task dot ID. Title. Task dot title. Task dot priority, and finally, task dot description. Those are all proper options coming out because we don't know if we have them or not. Uh, so we're returning you. Uh, that's the end of you. Ah, so it's mismatch types. It doesn't like this. Uh, what we can do is we can instead of just doing this impul into response, let's return a result. Um, a result is going to be, if it's okay, it's going to be the JSON with the response task. And if it's a complete failure, we'll just return a status code. So in this case, go back to our, do another else again. Um, you're going to be an error with a status code not found. Whereas you, we need to return, so I can get rid of the return keyword. We're gonna do an okay. And I can remove this semicolon. That makes this happier. Okay, so quick review what I just did. I switched our return case here to a result. Uh, the okay part of the result is this JSON of the response task. And if we fail, we're just gonna give a custom uh, status code. Uh, and here the status code is going to be not found, which is a 404. And if we're okay, we've set our JSON to be this response task and, and extracted out just the data that we want from the model that we well, got. Let's head back into our Thunder Client response. If we now hit send, uh, here we go. We have ID6, do something cool, priority A, this task created by Thunder Client. And I can change this to five, which was that static here. So my new title, A, my new task description. Uh, and if I try something like 999, we get a 404 not found because that task doesn't exist. So this is how we can get a single task from the database and return it to our client. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.